Welcome back to New Mexicast, everyone. Before the break, we went to check out the Iron Pour at Mesa Lands Community College in Tucumcari, New Mexico. And as you saw, there were a lot of parts of the process that were very dangerous and which could have a lot of problems. So some of the participants tend to be a little bit superstitious when it comes to this event. And those superstitions require an animal sacrifice. But don't worry, it's not the kind of animal or sacrifice that you may think. Enjoy. Butters Hannon came from Alamosa, Colorado to Tucumcari, New Mexico to do some hard labor with a group of strangers. But no need to break the ice here. Instead, they're breaking iron. This is the annual iron pour at Mesa Lands Community College Foundry. It's really intense. Like, so I came here with nothing and I'm leaving with four pieces. I mean, I, I came, I started foam and wax on Monday and we just get work done all week. And most people come up here with absolutely, we come up here with our clothes on our back and then we go back with work. And that's the whole point, make art. Over the course of a week, they will create thousands of metal masterpieces. This is my family. I mean, we, we, we get together, we work together, we break iron all week. We, I mean, it's just a lot of, a lot of work and a lot of teamwork involved. We would make art and do a, a, a lot of process. And we go from A to Z, doing all this with each other, having lunch, having dinner every day with each other, not really having contact with the outside world at all. And then we get together today and we melt the metal and pour it, and we party down right after. But the party only happens after the last drop is poured, because this is serious, dangerous work. Uh, these four here, I have one here in the back with the brain. An artist might spend days working on a piece, only to see it destroyed when the molten iron is poured into the mold. That potential for destruction is the reason this playfully superstitious bunch always gathers for a pre-pour ceremony led by foundry master and art instructor Dejean Jawrunner. The point of today is to have a really good time and to be safe and to be grateful we're with such great people. So send your wishes off. Let them go. <laughs> After wishes sail to the heavens, thank you, thank you. and after each person is blessed in a sage smudging ceremony, an animal sacrifice is made. Is that the sacrifice? Yes. What's the point of that? Well, we can, we can throw them into the cupola. It's just the animal sacrifice. We do it every year. And is it always a peep? It's always a peep. Poor peeps. I know. <laughs> With the fire god sufficiently satisfied, the iron pour begins. For Dejean Jawrunner, who has been overseeing every step of the process, the moment when the molten iron begins to pour is like watching her baby birds fly from the nest. Oh, it gets me excited. The faster we get our molds poured, the happier I am. My greatest moment is when we drop the bottoms of the furnaces and all the molds are done. Then I am joyous. And then it's time to celebrate. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> we've worked all year long to get ready for this. We've collected, we've, I've worried, um, everybody's helped. And so when we drop those bottoms, it means we have finished. The iron pour is an exhausting, exhilarating week where both the metal and the people are transformed. It is. They've been together for seven days, or they will be together by the end of tomorrow for seven days, about 12 hours a day. They eat together. Um, some of these people have been back year after year. They forge friendships. When new people come in, what's wonderful about this group, they're very open. Everybody's watching what each other's doing. They're sharing techniques. It's like the best part of the world and humanity together. You know, we're a family. So, it's I just love it. Got it! Stop! 
At the annual Iron Pour in Tucumcari, New Mexico, for New Mexicast, I'm Rosalinda Roman. Well, that's it for this edition of New Mexicast. I hope you enjoyed the Iron Pour. If you did, please feel free to drop me a line. You can send me an email at rlr at newmexicast.com or on Facebook and Twitter, I am New Mexicast. You can send me a note there. And also on New Mexicast TV on YouTube. Thank you for all of your support. I'm Rosalinda Roman. Like a dream I had. New Mexicast theme song is New Mexico by Dorian Spencer. Additional support for New Mexico is provided by... <laughs> and this is David Lobdell from Highlands University, who will be running the second furnace with his groove on. Uh-uh, uh -uh. I'm Donna Jean John. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and Kenneth? <laughs> oh, I gotta see your tag there. <laughs> you got a lot of peanut gallery I over here. That'll be in the bluebirds. And I, I noticed an animal sacrifice in there. The the peeps? Yeah, someone put their peep in there. He'll be gone real soon. <laughs> <laughs>